probably the start of the morning show, and then we'll go from there. There we go. Still gotta get some coffee first. We definitely need coffee. All right, look at that. Coach Cruz is going big time. We got a second cameraman yeah. all the way from California hired just for this occasion. So, Ooh. like and subscribe. Yeah. Stop <laughs> people holding a camera and tripping over the cable. Stop, stop these pesky uh, YouTube vloggers. It's because the show is getting so popular. That's what it is. I just can't get away from a good time. Are we ready? Let's start the wave. Yeah! yeah! Well, hello, welcome to the morning celebration, family. This is Lee, your cruise director, here with the wave. Hey. I'm joined by Marcella from your entertainment team. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Marcella. <laughs> so you can you can offer advice? Yes, definitely. I've got another question. What's the most expensive piece of jewelry in that in that Ooh. store? Should be a yellow diamond ring. Yep. And it's around uh, 150,000. Oh, yes. only 150,000? Yes. Can we try it on? Yes, you can. We can just come in and try yes, on a ring that costs 150,000. Yes, and you can even take a picture because sometimes you guys are like, oh, can I take a picture? I'm like, sure. Why not? So you can just go in and try it on? Yes. You have to try on the piece of jewelry in order to see yeah, if you like it. Well, I mean, let's do it. Yes. Get in there. Go Boom. Oh, can you imagine we just <laughs> leave the show rolling? You, you, you could stay. You could go. No, I, I will prepare actually to see. Do you want to go? Yeah. Go take a photograph. Let me go, my. You're on a mission. Okay. Oh my god, are you kidding The yellow diamond. <laughs> I love that. This is the first time we've been to do this. Let's go! Go ahead! you think this thing costs or take a picture send it to your partner and just say oops <laughs> thank you <laughs> you imagine wow Can you imagine just wearing that thing to the gym <laughs> going for a casual round of golf or tennis it's like <laughs> oh my and all crews we've loved sailing with you and we'll see you around the ship it's not over bye for now I thought you were leaving. No. <laughs> but you are leaving. You me in, in a month and two weeks. But you are leaving. I am. Wait, what are you going to do when you leave? I'm going to go to the Taylor Swift concert. Marcella got tickets to go see Taylor Swift. 
She's very excited. She's shaking it off every day. <laughs> Actually, yes. Every time I'm like, I'm gonna take a shower or something, and then I remember, and I'm like, ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm really excited. I can tell. <laughs> Good morning, Brad. Good morning. Good morning, you two. Ah, yay! <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan? What are you doing next? I don't know, honestly. Have you been down the water slides? Yeah. Have you played mini golf? Yeah. Have you been on the ropes course? Yeah. Maybe it's the ropes course. Maybe it's a ropes course day. Yeah, gonna do it, huh? Come on, do it, do it, do it. I know it. Now, Brad, we've got to run. Yeah. Because we've got the debarkation oh, wow. talk to do. Yeah. And by run, I mean walk yeah. safely. Walk fast. Let's oh, walk safely. Oh. I'll try to keep up with you. No, it's great. It's, it's, I've never seen one like that before. What's well, more pocket? BJI pocket. The great. And it plugs into your phone as well. See, Mama Sita, I'm getting fancy now. I, I, see, yeah. the last time you saw me, it was just me. And now I have hired. Yeah. I have hired labor. Full Second cameraman. Two cameras. Second, yeah. <laughs> We're moving up in the world. Yeah, of course, that's true. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. To the presentation. cruises i know some of you have cruised a lot and you're like oh we know about getting off the ship each ship has its own nuance each port has its own um systems and processes so come on out to the debark talk see what the cruise director's got to say about customs regulations on how you can best prepare for your debarkation especially if it's your first cruise because it's busy, it's a big day, and there's things you can do on the last day of your cruise to get ready the night before to make your debarkation super smooth, speedy, and stress-free. myself 100% as a cruise director because I would like to pursue the career of being a hotel director oh, okay. so in that path I love hosting and I love spending time with people that is like what a main of a cruise director does but my path to get to hotel director will be become entertainment director okay. just a strength Okay. So seeing of the part of the entertainment department, but behind the scenes. Except everybody gets to see your face. Yeah, Nobody that's true. <laughs> and Trent, you can only see his shoes. That's it. Well, actually, I showed him all the way up to I, here. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. I saw that <laughs> all the way up to here. I was like, is he going to reveal it? And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> everybody, well, I had a lot of people mad at me. Not, not the people that want to see him. But <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no, I couldn't do it. We got it. We got to keep that going. It, it is a good. It's a good thing. Yeah, I think he's so having too. so much things on um, his blog. He's really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah that's good. So it's pretty cool. So but this yeah. is the debarkation. Now, is this a typical crowd for the debarkation? Uh, or is there I think usually still more? We're gonna have more. Okay. The thing is, because it's the debark talk, a lot of people think that it's gonna be boring but it helps so much when they come and understand the process. Most like he has said, we had 6,400 guests, only two doors, 
When, so. a, when a debarkation goes smooth, I mean, there's some things out of your control. Like, obviously, this cruise was out of yes. everybody's control, so there's nothing that could be done about that. And then I know two weeks ago there was a computer glitch or something mm -hmm. like that. But, but but when everything goes smooth, what's what's a good yeah. amount of time for debarkation? To I take? think three hours. Three hours. Yeah, since we started, like we start at five forty-five, but most of the time we get clearance and we start letting people get off around seven thirty. So it has been times that we finished nine twenty, nine thirty, really? and. It goes. It you we can feel the difference because it goes really smooth. Everybody's happy. They're on the rush, obviously. A lot of people they need to catch a flight, but it goes super smooth. Okay. So, yeah. So like I have signed up for a flight. I'm on standby, but and at 9:45. So I'll be trying to be one of those first people, and I'm carrying my stuff off, which I know. Oh wow. No, no. Yeah, 9:45 a.m. Yeah. That's risky. <laughs> well, it is, but I'm standby, so. Well, yeah, that's You know, true. it's like I didn't pay for the ticket. I personally, I wouldn't enjoy to leave with the like for that day with the pressure about I need to catch a fly. <laughs> so. But the thing is, like, if, if I don't get that one, the, the difference between that is me getting home about seven hours later. Oh wow, yeah, that's too. So much I'll too. take a chance that I can get. But remember, home. if that ever happens, you can book a uh, short version in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta find somewhere to store my luggage. They do it for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> She's got the answers. That's it. Look through Carnival. Exactly. <laughs> through your Carnival, have that. Yeah. No, I actually think that is really clever. Like I never heard that before coming here, and it just like it makes a lot of sense. Like if I have a late flight, and I wouldn't be able to go to a mall or anything like that. Book a short excursion, they take over it, and you extend just a little bit more your vacation. Uh, for example, for me and that part that I want to achieve, of uh, now that I'm starting in my career here, learn as much as possible. I will sacrifice the good words or those kind of itineraries that are really weird or for example the bride that is in Europe I would totally sacrifice it to work with Trent or Lee again oh yeah like I can actually feel how they want us to take us they want to take us to the next level they want to teach us they want us to grow yeah so that's well, why I'm, there's like Gabby she's coming back Mike he's coming back yeah um, Trevor he's going to the Mardi Gras Trent is gonna be there so like we know and we feel supported by them, so that's yeah, amazing. No, that's great. Yeah. And I know that, uh, oh, go ahead. Do you ever get like tired? Like, just like, want to get off, like, man, I just want to get off the ship a little bit. Do you ever get like that feeling? Sometimes it happens, for example, this cruise, I think because the way it started, it has been really rough. Like yesterday, it was, I was supposed to start working at 8.40, 8.30, and it was 8.15 and I was still in there. And I'm like, please don't. So that makes it hard. But it's something that you then you check it off and you can start go, like going again. And obviously, for example, I'm really, 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 really blessed with the part that I can get off in ports most of the time. So those, uh, I in San Juan, I went to the mall, I went to buy some things, and I felt like a normal person. So that also helped us like to recharge again our whole battery and start like all over. So those are the many things in Miami. There's a restaurant that I like of Mexican food. Yeah. So I know that now that when I finish the debarking process, I'll go and get up in Miami and go to <laughs> eat to this restaurant. Yeah. So those little details makes a lot of things worth the crew. Gotcha. Um, and that's because I don't have, like my family is my mom, mm. but there's a lot of people for the crew members that they have like wife and kids and all that. Yeah. And you're gonna see them in every single second that they have up on the phone talking with them. So yeah. there's just different ways to recharge your battery. Gotcha. But yeah, we feel tired. <laughs> We're people too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know how y'all do it, honestly. The thing that amazes me the most about crew is like, I mean, every cruise is different of people, you know? But for you all, you have to have the same happy personality or whatever you know even if everything is not perfect for you because you have to make everybody 
that next cruise feel just as special as the cruise yeah. before and the cruise after. And it just, it's hard to do, like, if you have whatever job you have, it's hard to, you know, be your best all the time. So. It is. It is, but also it helps a lot, the guests that we get. Uh, there's, I don't know why we can even feel the vibe of the crew, what they, sorry, the cruise that we're going to have from the sail away party. <laughs> Like, we're gonna know if we're gonna have a party party cruise. We know we're gonna have like an older like, cruise, like it's gonna be a little bit more relaxed. We can know that from the sail away party and it's always right. Yeah. I have no idea why. Um, there's also like the time that we're gonna have a lot of people that enjoy the cheers package. And we know it's gonna be a wild cruise and all the parties go wild. So it just, it makes it feel a different, a little bit different, and take us to a part of we enjoy every single cruise because it's a little bit different. Maybe we do the same activities, but we know that the people that we're doing it with, for example, trivias, we have the same trivias every cruise most of the times. But I can make a joke for uh, for one of the questions. And maybe it's gonna work here, or maybe somebody else will say something, and that will lead to another complete conversation about it. So it just it makes it different, and that's yeah. the people. Yeah, that's true. That's good. Good point. See, I tell you, we're gonna have more people. Well, a very good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Are we good? Amazing. Marcella has challenged me to do the debarkation talk in under 24 minutes, which means I'm gonna need your help. John, it's gonna mean that I need to do the presentation and I'll talk to you after. And it also means I need someone with a timer. Cell phone, timer. Who's got it? Anyone? You got it? Over there. You're the official timer. Are we ready? <laughs> Tell me when we're going. Lee, she also has one. Oh, Marcella's got a timer out as well. John, I, you carry off your bags. You'll be the first people off the ship. We hope to see you again on a future carnival cruise, if not on this ship, on another of our fun ships. And if I don't see you again between now and the gangway, make the most out of today. The cruise isn't over. Whatever fun is for you, do it and do it a lot. And until the next time, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you up on the Lido deck as we groove for St. Jude at 11.30. How long? 21 minutes, there we go. Friends, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you do have any questions, Prussia's down here. There'll be more than happy to help you. You'll also get a flyer delivered to your cabin with frequently asked questions. I'll see you there, and I'll see you at the Q&A, John, okay? Really? <laughs> yeah, he always takes 25. Wow. I said 24, because last time he couldn't do it. Three but, minutes, 40, Wow, 21, 19. Holy moly. Well, you were on the stage. Congratulations. <laughs> it's time to go up to the Lido deck, deck 16, to raise as much money as we can for the kids of St. Jude. Let's go up to seven. Right. Hey, friends, have a great one. Kissing in the back row of the debug presentation. <laughs> See you later. You're great, Thank you, Thank you. Secondly, and this one is huge, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I just can't get away from a good time. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we okay, friends? That's a serious face you got on it. You need help. Are <laughs> okay? Well, we missed it, and so we were just trying to Say figure out. Channel 14 on your Kevin TV. Coach Boone. I'll just take a picture. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Who's going up? Everyone. We're all going up in the world. Oh, my dear. You just dropped your handkerchief. Lee, your cruise director. Lee, your cruise director, but it's not a website, it's Facebook or YouTube. Okay. It's social media, but I don't have a website yet. I tried to take a picture of it, but it went too fast. So oh, I was not able to take a picture of it. It'll be on the TV on channel 14. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. You're the best. Love you. <laughs> Did you hear that? This woman has got incredible taste. <laughs> of course. I value your opinions. <laughs> and I love to come and see you. And I found other people today saying the same thing. Well, you come back. I will. I got to in, in October and December I'll be here. And, and then you I'll said see. you would be I'll here. I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay. I'll be here. You make it clear for everybody to see. Said. And understand, and that's what's important. I try, but I've got to leave that, that website thing on a little bit longer. Okay. I'll right. do it next thank time. You. Okay, thank you. It's Lee. Oh, going up, going up, going up. Okay. Hello. Lee, you got the wall. I've got a little one. <laughs> yeah, the brand ambassador on his Facebook page. Is it Lee? Yeah. Bye bye. Come on in, we're going up to 16, how about you? That's where we're going. Herbert, you coming with us? Yes, we got to go. Yes, come on. Hi, Sugar Pro. Sugar How are you? Can you press 14? 14. 14, come to 16 with us. It's where all the fun loving people are going. I gotta pick up George. Okay, get George and then come up to 16. I will. Deal? Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, All right. right. See you later. See you later. Got it. Ready, <laughs> team? Yeah. Let's go down. Bruce, thank you. I changed it. I said jam. 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 Are we okay here, friends? You good? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. 18. Uh, Are we ready? Are we ready? Uh, okay, let's get up and see you. That's over seventy thousand dollars, and it starts with you. Make a difference, and you not only get a T-shirt or a bear, but you get that warm feeling in your heart that you know you did something incredible. At noon, in twenty-five minutes' time, we're going to throw a huge party. Our final deck party of the cruise. We'll be grooving, moving, and grooving for St. Jude. So get ready to have some fun. And you for your generosity and support of St. Hugh Children's Research Hospital. I'm going to go and make an announcement to the entire ship, inviting them up here for the party and to donate. So don't stand in line. Head on over to the tables now. While you can, meet the crowds. Do good and feel good. Right, I'm gonna run down to 
my cabin to make a quick announcement about Rufus St. Jude, the other events happening in the afternoon, and I'm coming straight back with some sunglasses because I forgot them. All right. Maybe even a pair of shorts. Yeah. I was going to say, you always say you need to wear shorts, and you never do. Bensley. <laughs> so it's going to be a quick change, a quick announcement. I'll be straight back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Hey. hey. How's it going? I want to do the, the bear donation. But it's only a Oh, okay. Alright, so we did our St. Jude donation. They even give you a little bear. Thank you. Alright. The group for St. Jude Bear.
it to inhale three tacos in about 10 minutes. tacoing or bur burritoing it seems the entire ship has had the same idea and if i can give you any advice coach cruisers is if you're hungry and there's a line there's so many places to eat on the ship just get food from somewhere else we'll go to street eats <laughs> Burrito versus a taco. I understand a burrito. It's got a lot of filling. It's got the rice and stuff But isn't a taco just like a baby burrito? You could get one burrito or four tacos. The line's shorter. I wouldn't stand in a line of 27 people No. Just get some tacos. I agree I prefer the tacos too. The thing is people make a plan, right? They set their mind on something and they're like, I'm not having that. But don't stand in line on vacation. Just go with another option. There's so much to eat. Great. So we're doing tacos. We're right. gonna do three chicken tacos for me. I'll show you how I top them. Let's do this. Yeah. How's it going today? Salsa, boom, boom, boom. Just a little bit of the creme fresca. Oh, come on. This stuff is disgusting. Don't put it on your tacos because there'll be nothing left for me. It's gross. Don't use it. In fact, everyone's found out already. Oh, you got some. <laughs> Just don't want. It's a sad day. So then it's the gamble of what substitute sauce are you going to go with. I'm going to put that in there upside down so everyone stands a better chance of getting some next time. Right, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? We'll go with an apple or two. And then... I'm not gonna put any cheese on because I claim to be on a diet. Onions are gonna make me stink. So this is it. I know it's raw, I know it's basic, but I'm a basic kind of Let's get some water. You know what, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little fancy. So we're going to put in our water, just a sploosh of lemonade, a bit of flavour, like yeah. finding somewhere to sit down as the challenge. Power of your editing wizardry. Put a timer on the screen. Countdown. Well, Three, yeah. two, one. Let's go. All right, you're it's at 7:40 right now. We'll count out from there. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those competitive eaters. <laughs> you know that would be another thing you all could do. 
Does mm -hmm. have an eating contest. <laughs> I do it with the guys' burgers mm -hmm. or the, uh, the tacos, you know, something like that. No doubt we'd get in trouble with someone for something or choking hazards or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Now, schoolboy era didn't grab a napkin, but it's okay because there's a sink just at the door here. So I'll just wash my hands. I'll take a bath. It's one of the good things working on a ship. You get the food for free. I mean, it's included. It is. I know you pay for a specialty, mm -hmm. you know, but at least Temptation that'll save some is real, money. though. Yeah. Right? At home, you can make smarter choices. You can, you know, get the fruit, get the salad, the veggies. But when you have a choice between salad and veggies or pizza, yeah. Hello. This is true. But you have that choice at home, too. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> people still, you know, so. But I mean, this is just there. Yeah, right. It's there, it's ready. Right, that's true. That, that's a good statement. Like, if I have candy in the cupboard, or I have candy and I have to go to the store and get it, I can choose not to get it mm -hmm. when I bring it, and then just open the cupboard and see healthy stuff or whatever you all that the candy's in the cupboard every time every time <laughs> all right you are at two minutes you've down two tacos in two minutes there you go. officially dang i'm down three tacos in two minutes look at you <laughs> the cameraman's taking a break over here yeah our second <laughs> our second cameraman The less glamorous side of the job. This is the, the three minute, three taco challenge. You've still got a solid 20 second. Oh, wow. Didn't even need it. Nope. Two and a half minutes. There we go. Now. It is a reality. I think all of the cruise tricks out there are taking these. Snap breaks, snap lunches when you can. Right. Time to wash my hands. Thank you. And then head to the Q&A. Now, because I'm a little bit sweaty and I shouldn't go on stage in shorts, I'm going to go run down by my cabin and change, and I'll see you in the Grand Spectrum Pizza. All right. Let's Sounds see. good. That event starts at 1245? Yeah, 15 minutes. Okay. Well, 10 minutes really. All right, we'll see you down there. See you down there. Oh. So what's the average contract time for an employee? That's, That's a great, great question. question. Uh, and it varies on position. For instance, the captain and the officers will do three months. Uh, they've recently adjusted uh, the cruise director contracts to four months on, and they suggested two months off, but in reality, that's translating to about five weeks, maybe six weeks. Now, as you go through the crew, six to eight months on average, I think is pretty standard. Occasionally, a crew member might do 10 months, either because that's their preference for a longer contract, more time working means more money, right? Because um, we work on a contract basis. We're paid when we're on board, and when we're off, we're not paid. Um, I'd say six to eight, with extremes of three and ten either side. Great question, though. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Last but by no means least. Yes. So you now have a thriving YouTube channel yourself. For some of the people that aren't subscribed to you already, what are some of the unique things that you can show them as far as cruise life goes and things like that that they might not be able to see on other cruise-type YouTube channels? I love that. Thank you. 
from one one YouTuber to another. Thank you for open, opening me up to a little promotion. <laughs> um, I do have a YouTube channel. It's Lee, your cruise director, L-E-E, -E, your cruise director on YouTube. And um, I open a window into crew life. There's a lot of people on YouTube that are doing ship tours or reviews or, you know, vlogging the experience. Uh, but I believe I can open a window into crew life and you can see genuine interactions from the people like Robbie, you're like, what's Robbie really like? Um, or when we go out in port, you can see where I go. Occasionally I'll go out on a shore excursion and you can check out what these excursions are all about and what they're like. Sometimes I go out on my own and you can see, you know, what restaurant I've gone to, what did I eat, where did I go, how did I get there, uh, what was the weather like. What's it like when you step off the ship in certain ports of call? So if you want to find out more about cruising or live vicariously through the eyes and the camera of a crew member, Lee, your cruise director on YouTube, uh, is the place to, a place to be. I've got some exciting stuff coming up as well in my personal life. I'm going to Memphis to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital because uh, I recently won an award. Um, I'm going to be their ambassador of the year, which is really cool. <laughs> And that's largely um, because of the fundraising that we do on board. The celebration has the, the company record for the most money raised in a single cruise. We raised over $60,000 in one cruise, which is kind of fun. Um, so I'm going there for an awards ceremony and gala, and then I'm going on vacation. And I'm... Um, People always ask, where do, where do you go as a, someone who works on a cruise ship? What do you do on vacation? You could go, no, I'm not going on a cruise, but I've been on one. We well, live around one, I know. And because your friends tend to be working on cruise ships, so we go visit each other. Um, but this cruise, uh, this cruise, this vacation, um, I'm gonna go and see my girlfriend. Uh, she works on ships as well, but she's currently on vacation waiting for me to finish this contract. I'll meet her in England, then we're gonna to go to France because um, her mom's French. From France, we're gonna to go to Dubai. I've never been there. Um, if you've never been to Dubai, come with us, I'll be vlogging you. And then from Dubai, I'm gonna to go to Bali in Indonesia. And the great thing is, a lot of our crew come from Indonesia. So I've been asking the crew, like, what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? What do I need to eat? The crew, fantastic. One of the servers in the restaurant team was like, my dad is a driver. And um, here's his WhatsApp. <laughs> if you need a ride, speak to my dad. Like, how cool is that? It's one of the perks of being crew members. We've got like this network of family all over. Um, so yeah, that's my vacation. I'll take you along for that as well. It's time for our Legends of Lido competition. It's up back on the Lido deck. Now I'm wearing a sweater and a blazer, so guess what I have to do? Time to change. I'll see you on so deck 16, deck 17 so, for the fun. So, well, Coach Cruises, if this man is not on video in the next scene so, participating, you, you know. <laughs> he, he let you down. Uh, I, I need my... All right, so I'm rushing off to the Legends of Lido event. And it sounds like Lee's going to uh, have some fun, possibly at my expense. <laughs> and maybe you all will get a good laugh out of it too. I don't know what's exactly planned. He didn't give me any details, which scares me. Uh, so we'll see what this Legends of Lido is all about. We only have five people for Legend of Lido. Are you going to be those people? Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah. 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 I got that track. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. You can't be one more! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 okay. The contestant is Ashley from California! Naughty <laughs> I gotta go behind the dancer. The next guy's an actual dancer. This is the first one. It's a setup. <laughs> no, but he was. His name is David, and he's from Detroit. Woo! David! Hey! Let's go.
shower dance routine in the show. For Orlando wouldn't normally volunteer, yeah. I think he did a good job on that singer over the DJs. This is even worse than the karaoke. <laughs> He's I hope you all didn't give me enough points that I have to keep doing this. That's my only hope is that I'm one of the three that is going out. David from Detroit. Mike from Nashville. Ashley from California. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I so did not want to do that. Oh, sure. Um, and secondly, and this one is huge, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I appreciate that you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Lee. I just can't get away from a good time.